it's it's been a lot. It's been hard. Um, and I'm pretty much past all the tough stuff now, just kind of maintaining and staying strong and all that. So, but the you know the last nine months have definitely been really hard. It's the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Yeah, just not being able to play was one of the biggest things. It was hard just to sit on the sideline and not be able to help out on the court. Um, but mentally, it's been really tough. I think that's the biggest thing. I think if you talk to anyone that hurt their knee, it's a lot of it. It's mental and just replaying what happened in your mind and being able to get back on the court and not have to think about that. That's kind of been the hardest thing as well. How much different do you think this team is going to be than the one that you left when you got injured last year? I think it's be a totally different team. Um, we're playing a little bit smaller. Uh, faster though, in my sense. Um, it's just going to be totally different. I, I don't even know how to explain it. I think you guys are going to have to just see it. But uh, definitely faster, you know, more guard play will be a huge thing. So compared to, you know, with Amanda and Shea in the post. So yeah. You know, just watching the girls last year was a huge motivation. Um, they played so well and they picked up when I went down. and. You know, I just want to come back super healthy and just finish out on the court in my jersey, not on the sideline. Um, the WNBA can always be there. You know, I, I still need to get better to be able to play in the WNBA. So I just want to use this year to be at my ultimate best and go out healthy and strong. Sounds like you could play at a lot of different positions this year. Yeah. How do you view your role? Um, very versatile. You know, I can play uh, one through four, uh, a little bit of post up there. So that's kind of cool. I like I like being able to do different things, and I think that's something that we can really value, just being able to play all different positions. That's really tough for other teams to have to guard. So I know I like it. I think it's really fun. Coach was talking about how there's a lot of rebounding to be made up with, with Shea yes. and Amanda gone, yes, and that the much more um, responsibility will lie with the guards for doing that. What have the guards been doing to get yourselves prepared for that? Um, you know, rebounding isn't all about being strong and tall and, you know, a lot of it's heart and just the mentality to go grab the ball. Um, so there's not really anything specific that we're working on. It's just doing it, you know, just telling yourself you need to do it. Um, working on pushing back, you know, going against the boys is always tough. So that's going to help a lot when we transfer over to going against females. But, you know, just doing it and just being going after the ball and not just really waiting for someone else to go grab it, just tacking it yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like my last four years I've been only doing upper body because I've always had knee issues, knee issues. So I feel like my upper body is just very strong. Um, I'm pretty much good when it comes to upper body strength. But now my legs have gotten there too, so that's great. I feel like I'm really even overall. Even my core and everything feels really strong. So, yeah, the whole strength thing has been huge over the last nine months is just getting strong because that's a lot of times why you get injured. Uh, she certainly looks ready to go in our practice settings, but I think her getting out there and hearing her name called and, and hitting that first shot and, and just getting up and down and feeling comfortable and more confident with it, I think is where we're at with her. Maybe just go in and get hit a couple of times. Exactly, exactly. Just just get her feet wet again. What can you expect from Alina Starr, somebody who was part of the program for a, quite mm -hmm. a long time last yes. season and, and had a chance to get a running start for this season? Oh, well, exactly, and and thank you for that question. She she definitely is uh, understands um, what we want from her. She's adjusted well to our system, and I like the the um, dynamic that she brings. She she provides us with a lot more quickness on the perimeter. She's a strong guard, and the ability to get to the basket even through contact. And when you have great shooters such as. Rachel and Carly and even Shane Mullaney who can knock down shots, Michaela Bailey, and then you add a Lena Starr into the mix. Um, I, I like what that does for us offensively. You know, obviously she's not eligible to play here until um, into late December, but I think uh, we'll get her before Big Ten play, and um, and she'll she'll definitely add some more versatility and a, a different dynamic to our team. And uh, can you talk about the additions to your coaching staff? I know addressed that before, but what does she bring? I know it's, it's, a, it's a big loss that you had, but she also brings something to the team. I'm sorry, I Gail. missed the first part. Oh, Gail, yeah. yes. Yes, yeah, so Gail, yeah, big loss with Fred going to South Carolina, um, but he was connected to their staff, and we knew previously if they had an opening, he might go, their Final Four team. So uh, we uh, certainly were happy for him. But bringing in Gail um, provides us with someone who has a lot of head coaching experience, and I like to have a lot of experience around me. 
and and she brings that piece. So both her and Nikki have been head coaches, and she's got 20 some years at that position, three time coach of the year during her tenure at both UCF and Long Island. And uh, and for her, I think um, you know she's excited to be at this level too, because her career's mostly been mid major. Um, and for her to be at the BCS level, and she's excited this time in her life to be here. But she brings, uh, I think, also that connectedness to the players, that, that piece. Um, she's big on player relationships, as we are, but I think it, it adds another uh, element there um, to, uh, for our young ladies um, to connect with the coach. How much smoother did practice go? We talked a little bit about the mm -hmm. conditioning and mm -hmm. players taking ownership. Coming in now for a second year when they knew what to expect with mm -hmm. preseason drills, how did mm -hmm. that go? Well, when you when you combine our seven newcomers into that mix, I, I think um, from a leadership perspective um, that existed in, in what we are trying to do and what we want to do. But seven new people is still a lot. Um, so we're still working through that part of it uh, in meshing the two, I, I guess you could say, and, uh, and that being um, more consistent. What all did you do during the summer in addition to uh, your coaching duties? Do you have a chance to get a little more integrated in the Twin Cities yourself and explore some things? I did. It's, it's completely different for me sitting here at this point this year than it was last year when I had just moved into my place about two weeks ago this time last year. So I had a chance to really connect more so in the community and, and learn my way around a lot more. And, you know, the thing that's been most exciting to me is how much the fan base has embraced us and, and what we're trying to do. And people have said, you know, you've, you've uh, electrified the fan base again. You've instilled pride back into the program. Those are some things that have been said to us. And, but for me, it's just been awesome being embraced um, from, our, from our fans. Uh, there's, they play such an integral role of what we want to do here. Uh, we feel like, you know, we had games of 7,000 people last year. We really want to get that to over 10,000 this year. And uh, who wouldn't want to come see a Rachel Bantam in her, in her last uh, year? And the young lady going down is the most prolific score to ever put on a jersey here. You know, who would want to miss that opportunity? And we uh, increased our home games by three, so we're here 16 times this year. And uh, we just um, hopeful that uh, that will continue.